Okay, hi everyone. Today we're going to be conducting a bit of a experimental model looking at how uh, we achieve or how chemists uh, came up with relative atomic masses. So what I've got is I've got some um, different sized substances to simulate our atoms. And so the first substance that I've got is rice just rice grains and i'm just going to record uh how well what the mass of 20 grains or 20 uh, atoms of each uh, substance weighs or what is the mass of each so 20 rice grains is equivalent to 0.40 of a gram then i've got some pine nuts so I'm going to do the same. What is the equivalent of 20 pine nuts? And that is 2.11 grams. I'm just recording that. You can't see that yet, but I'll show you in a moment. And then I'm going to do the same for some beans. And go zero that. Right. Okay, and that is 20 beans, and that is 14.92 grams. Okay, so that is the same number of particles but differing masses. So, what we're going to do, how do we make these relative? I've just recorded these over here. How are we going to make them relative? In this instance, we're going to compare each, uh, each substance to the smallest one, okay? And this is very similar to what early chemists did when trying to figure out relative atomic masses. They compared to the mass of hydrogen, okay? Which is our smallest known or our smallest atom. And it wasn't until later that chemists use carbon 12 the isotope of carbon as a as a uh, reference point to compare other atomic masses to okay so how do we make these relative in in our case what we're going to do is we're going to divide each one by the mass of our smallest substance which is our rice okay so i'm just going to do that math really quickly in this instance our relative atomic masses or our relative masses of these structures they now no longer have a unit because it's a relative mass okay it's a number that relates um, the three structures or well, the three substances to the smaller so you know what these numbers will represent is the pine nut mass compared to the rice mass and the beans mass compared to the rice mass. So that is our reference point. Uh, so if I just quickly do this calculation, and that gives us, I'm just going to round that to 5.15. Okay, so the pine nuts is, uh, the rice is one, okay, mass of one. And uh, the pine nuts is a mass of 5.15. One five, and then the beans is has a mass of thirty seven point three. Okay, and so you'll notice that I did not write down uh, a unit. Okay, very similar to or our relative atomic masses on our periodic table. They do not have units. Okay, well the unit is an atomic mass unit or an AMU. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is a second step to this. What I want to know is how many particles of rice do I need to make up uh, an atomic mass unit of one? How many pine nuts do I need to make up an atomic mass unit of 5.15? And how many beans do I need to make up an atomic mass unit of 37.3? Okay, so that's the question that we're asking. So let's start with the rice. So what I want to know is how many 
will make up um, an atomic mass unit of one, okay? So I'll just do this as best I can in groups of 10 and as quickly as possible so we don't drag this, this uh, model out. Make sure that that's on zero. Okay, and I'll just, to start off with, I'll go up by lots of 10. Okay, so that's 10. That's 20 grains. Okay, so that brings us back up to 0.4. That's 30. That's 40. That's 50. 51. Okay, 51. So I'm just going to record that. 51 grains um, is equal to one atomic mass unit for rice. Okay, let's do the same thing now, but with our pine nuts. Uh, the atomic mass unit of pine nuts that we've calculated is 5.15. So we're looking for uh, the number of pine nuts it takes to get to 5.15. So I'm going to pop those 20 that I had on originally. So that's 20. That's 30. 40, that's 50, Fifty-one. okay 51 is a little bit over, okay, I mean one of the limitations with this model is that obviously these pine nuts are not all exactly the same size, neither are the rice grains. Okay, so that's, I think, as close as we're going to get. Or maybe I'll just do a bit of an exchange and see if we can get any closer to 5.15. Okay, that's close. So for the pine nuts, uh, it was 50 was equal to 5.15 atomic mass units. Okay, so I just want you to think about that. 51 grains of rice. 50 pine nuts, that, that uh, proximity, is that, you know, the closeness of those two values, is that just a coincidence or, or is there something else to it? While you're thinking about that, we're going to count out how many beans we need to get to 37.3, okay? So once again, I'll pop on those first 20 that I started with. So we're trying to achieve, or we're trying to get to the number of 37.3. Put on another 10, that's 30. Put on another 10, that's 40. Put on another 10, that's 50. Okay, so 37.3, so I've got 36.58 at the moment. I'll pop one on. No, oh, would you look at that, 37.31. And that was 51 uh, beans was equal to 37.3 atomic mass units. So I just want you to have a look at those numbers there. Uh, I'll just place a little box around that so we can study that in a bit more detail. Okay. So to get to one atomic mass unit, we required 51 grains of rice, okay? To get to 5.15 atomic mass unit, which is of the pine nuts, that's the atomic mass unit of the pine nuts, we needed 50. To get to the atomic mass unit of the beans, 37.3, we needed 51. If you have a look at these values, okay, they are essentially the same, okay? Plus the one pine nut okay here so that that's our little anomaly okay Re keep in mind that i've only done that once okay and so if i had you do it in the lab do this same model experiment in the lab uh 
what would you know obviously what I would get you to do is to complete this experiment a number of times and then compare the numbers that we got within the groups okay and to start to see that we're getting consistent values but even so that is pretty good okay so what's the what was the aim okay is to find out how many particles of each substance was required to get to the relative atomic mass okay and what we found is that it's the same essentially okay in our experiment it's very similar but in chemistry it is the same okay so the same number of particles is present in one uh, atomic mass unit of that atom all right and we're going to talk about that number in vast amounts of detail in further uh, in further videos and in further lessons and that is what we call the mole the mole is the number of particles in one of an atom's atomic mass unit okay so for hydrogen um, you know for hydrogen one we're talking about um, you know one atomic mass unit has the same number of particles of uh, in it as does you know 12 of carbon 12 same number of particles okay it's the same number of particles these relative atomic masses are different obviously because they're comparing the sizes of the atoms okay so differing sizes of atoms are going to have differing atomic mass units okay and so i hope that has shed some light on uh, the introductory part of this of this concept of the mole which we're going to be talking about later on all right thank you and goodbye